So I started teaching six years ago, right when technology started taking over. So I don't have a ton in my filing cabinet. Um, I think teachers now probably don't even use filing cabinets like teachers coming up right now because everything is digital. But I know that I have some friends that have been teaching for years and they have so much stuff in their filing cabinets and I need to go help them get rid of stuff. But I wanted to show you first how I organize my filing cabinet. Hey, all right, so I am starting the cleanup pack up process for the end of the year and I always like to start first with my filing cabinet because that is something I can clean out easily while the kids are doing independent work. Uh, I can just shuffle through the files and, and trash what I need to. Uh, it's an easy way to start and kind of like get in the frame of mind of cleaning, organizing, whatever. So I started doing that and then I realized, wait, I should probably like show a quick video of how I organize my filing cabinet. I literally have one filing cabinet. It's right here. Um, honestly, not even all of the cabinets are completely full. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I organize them. Uh, please keep in mind, I already started cleaning stuff out. So I threw a little bit of stuff back in here so that you'd have something to look at. But um, I'll tell you what was in here before I started cleaning it out. Like I said, I already started uh, cleaning out this drawer. Actually, this is the drawer I cleaned out and then I said, wait, stop, I need to record. Um, but in this, so I have my drawers organized. I've got four drawers. So this drawer, my top drawer is, all of my like professional stuff, um, back to school, beginning of the year, um, that kind of stuff. This drawer right here, the second one, is where I keep all of my math and language arts. And then I keep uh, like colored, con uh, not construction paper, colored cardstock. Down here, um, I have science and social studies stuff and all of my word wall words. And then this drawer down here, I actually keep all, all that's in here is. Um, Anytime I use paper, I make copies of something and I don't use it or I mess up, I put it right here and that's my free draw paper. And then back there I keep, uh, I used to keep like all of our end of unit assessments back there so that way I had record of them, but I got rid of them the other day and now it's just plastic bags. And then like I said, here is science and social studies. I have not taught either of these subjects in four years, so I really don't have much and I only taught it for a couple years. So, um, I just have a few things that I kept, like really all that's in here is examples of stuff that I did. I try not to keep too much because I really believe in just putting everything on the computer because it's unlimited or mostly. And then back here, um, you can see this is very organized, but uh, these are all my word wall words. I keep them, um, I have them sorted by which week and I have a list of which ones go out each week and then I just put the empty bags back there. Uh, so this is all where I keep all my word wall words and I just keep them in here so they're easy for me to grab. This drawer is, like I said, science and so, uh, I'm sorry, math and reading. So I've got all of my units um, that I teach. Um, actually, these are honestly from third grade. I don't, but I still put stuff in them sometimes. So basically I've got math and then right here you can see um, it switches, actually no, right there where the blue is, it switches over to language arts. So originally I started by making folders for each unit that I teach and then putting stuff in there. And I still do keep up with that some, at some, to some extent, but then, um, whenever I like print something off and I use it and I really like it and I want to save it, like the copy of it, I'll just grab back here. I keep all of these back here are extra folders. Um, oh, so you can see all these back here are extra folders. So I just keep them. I'll grab one out, right rounding on it, pop whatever needs to go in there. And then I organize everything alphabetically. So all you have to do is come, like I had a student teacher last year and literally she said that one time she came in and knew that this was the math drawer, came in, could find it easily because it was alphabetical. And then I've got the same thing back here for all my language arts um, by unit. And then just some of the different um, topics that we talk about. And then back here, these are all my extra folders right here. I've got a section for colored paper and then I've got another one and I put cardstock back here. And then I used to back here, but again, like I said, I cleaned it out was, um, kind of like random, like dress up accessories. I don't really know why I had them, but I did. So that's that drawer. And then back to up here is just like professional stuff. So this is where I have a folder for each grade level. Uh, I'm sorry, each year that I've taught. And then I keep important things in there. Oh, look, there's me. Um, like just grades or whatever. Um, this is this year's stuff. Beginning of year, I keep a folder for all my PD documentation um, and just anything that I 
find important, I put in there. Okay, those are my filing cabinets and I would encourage you this summer, um, if you need to, take all this out, like everything, Put get a, a bin for every drawer, put everything in that drawer, take it home and organize it if you don't have time to do that before the end of the school year. But I really think that filing cabinets can be minimized just by like purging and getting rid of guys. You don't have to keep paper copies of everything because we're in the 21st century. Okay, good luck y'all.